Hello, and welcome to my world. The sun is blazing in my eyes, world that is. So we're going to... I don't really have much about coin hunt world today like yesterday. Um, El Salvador has a day and 12 hours till their uh, event starts. Other than that, it's a quiet front here. We're just building and prepping for the coming construction. Ha ha ha. Uh, when we get to build structures and level up QBs and stuff, I got the sun right on my back. Um, but tomorrow is my Dungeons & Dragons day. Uh, I'm trying to plan out the adventure. I pretty much have it. The next stage involved. Um, right now, they're going to have to... Yes, I was inspired this bit by Stranger Things. Um, in Dungeons & Dragons itself, Mind Flayers, they're kind of like... You would say they're humanoid. But they have like octopus, octopus tentacles coming off their mouth so they can suck your brains and memories. Uh, and take your mind over and make you slaves. They're involved with the lich that is starting to heavily, heavily dominate the world. Yeah, Adam. Uh, so, this lich along the one coast is starting to heavily influence that region. Uh, and I don't want to toss them directly at the lich. I want it to build up to it. And this is the next stage. My group is really new to Dungeons & Dragons. Two players out of the five have been playing with me for 10 years but they're only playing with me because they've never played before and I introduced them uh, we have another player who's been playing for about a year outside of our table <clears throat> so that's about a year and a half for him <clears throat> another person who has only been playing this recent time so he's maybe been playing about 3-4 months with us as the start of his gaming. Uh, we have another person, a female here, who she's been playing for maybe about four or five months as well. Maybe a year at the most. So our table is very fresh. So I haven't been wanting to toss them heavily into stuff. I have the first encounter coming up with the weakest mind flare. What I'm going to be doing is, there's a supplement coming out soon for Spelljammer 5th Edition. If you don't know what Spelljammer is, it's Sons and Dragons in space. You're riding around a ship being a pirate in space. Like, that. that's awesome. Uh, so, I'm going to have something on each one of these elithids, the Mind Flares, to connect together and create the helm for their ship and then here's a I don't know if this is mean but this is good once it's lined up and attached to the ship itself it's going to take them to the spell jammer astro plane so whoever was on it is going to be taken out of our reality well it's still the same reality but our cosmos sphere, I guess we could say, to the outer, it is dimensions, yeah, but not reality. We're all under the same reality, but different dimensions. Yeah, all right, so you go, we're going out to the ether sphere. Anyways, now I'm Dungeons and Dragons nerding out. Ah. Uh, So I'm just trying to piece everything and slide it all in together. 
jackal. I don't go to the table with much. I know the overall plan. Because the one thing I've learned out of all the years of being a dungeon master for Dungeons & Dragons, you can build the most crazy, in-depth story, adventure, and then your players are going to be like, Whoa, what's that? That's an ostrich. I want to go try and catch that. And you just can't rely heavily that they're going to do what you want them to do because they never do. So I make an entertaining story and hopefully they'll catch the bites and we go on a ride. So there's not much today for me to talk about. So let's see where I'm at with keys. Ooh, I've been trying to collect... I'm trying to buy up construction workers. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm, I know I'm going to be a builder. I know I'm going to try and do, put up as much structures as I can in my region and area. Um, I've been trying to see if, if I go to another town and put a structure on somewhere that's tagged and I put construction workers in there, do I have to go back to it to collect my construction worker from that structure? Or does it come back to my cabin when it's done working? It's night shift is done, it comes home. Or do I have to pick it up and bring it home? I've been thinking about that with the game. Because like I said, I'm a builder. I'm going to be helping terraform this land. And fleshing it out. Oh. It's definitely brighter today. I like the past two days where it had that nice. So you can see clouds today. It's the past couple days. It's been a misty morning. Misty morning walks. Now bright and sunny walk. Boo hoo. Who likes sun? Uh. But now we're just getting silly. So let me know. Let me know what you're building up in your inventory. Um, what you're looking to get and purchase in the coming weeks, months, until the next stage happens. So till we talk again, always remember: just look both ways when you're crossing the street. You know, I can't help but tell you this because I know some of you don't listen. Because you're probably just like, oh, 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 and you don't look. And I don't know. But till we talk again, have fun, be safe, collect that crypto, and question of the day. Does Jer know how to keep his phone on? Uh, no, I don't. Do you know how to keep your phone on? All right, so we'll, till we talk again, have fun. And enjoy that question of the day. And always, always look both ways when crossing the street. Be safe.